For customers of Pathmark, Sammy Peralta is just another employee. What they don't realize, he is used to be a famous rock band. I started playing in a band about 1992. Started touring about 1993. I played guitar in the band and I was in charge of making all our merchandise. We're touring a lot. To be now on the road, Sammy met famous band members. One of the most famous people I saw while touring was most of the members of Guns N' Roses that we toured with for about a few months. Uh, met Dane Cook, all the members of Adelita's Way and Sick Puppies. Samuel had crazy moments in his life. One of the craziest times was when he went to California. We played a show out in California at the Whiskey. It was about to about like 7,000 people. And afterwards, our, uh, our van broke down. We were stuck in California for about three days. Uh, we toured everywhere along the West Coast, East Coast, and the Mid-States. Uh, some towns are cool because it's different than what life is like on the East Coast. It's very quiet, but one of my most favorite places to play was Canada. It's a completely different living style, lifestyle. The people are completely different. More cleaner, more friendlier. Now Sammy works in Pathmark. And he has taken quite a pay cut from his glory days as a rocker. He was used to having things given to him. And now he does manual labor in the supermarket. Well, the income in the beginning was very little to nothing compared to Pathmark, but as, you know, years gone by and, you know, more notoriety, signing with labels and bigger shows, bigger venues, uh, it would be about three times the amount that I was making now compared to, you know, being out on the road. It's a... Sammy is married and has a kid. His wife was understanding and very supportive about his choice to be out on the road. Well, in the beginning, it was kind of it was kind of hard. I actually met my 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 wife through playing music, and in the beginning, it was rough. It was taking a lot of getting used to going out for a month or two at a time, being home for a week, then going back out for a week or two, coming home for two days, leaving for six months. It was a lot of stress and heartache on her, I guess. But you know, she understood it and she was very supportive. That's why we were able to be married today, and you know. Now that I'm home, it's very different, but, you know, in the beginning, it was a learning process for both her and I, and it worked out for the better. Being on the road meant partying a lot. That also meant nights full of booze. You know, we would stay up in hotels where everything was paid for, so alcohol and not as much drugs, but mostly alcohol was readily available to us. You get five rage, raging alcoholics together, and it, sometimes it just causes destruction. And um, a few times it led to bands breaking up, and even some sometimes drugs led to good friends, roadies, bandmates, you know, passing away at early ages. and. You know, after a while from seeing things like that, you learn that, you know, it's time to quit and move on. But uh, other than that, you know, it was, in the end now, I look at it as harmless partying. With all the bad times on the road, made Sammy think about settling down. Uh, what made me stop playing is the fact that, that I was going out on the road a lot. I, I was far away from my wife. You know, we were ma eventually married while I was still on the road. And, you know, it just takes its toll you know, being cooped up in buses and vans and never really going back home to your own bed at points. It's just, hey, where are we going to sleep tonight? It was, a, it was a big change to just be home all the time. And, you know, I kind of just missed my family and wanted to just go on and move on and have a different life from the life I was used to of being on the road. Sammy quit the music business and wanted to focus on his family. He went from being on the stage to having a 9 to 5 job. Well, my future plans now is, you know, I work every day, I have a family, I have a, a kid and a year old son. 
you know, I, I do work. I do, you know, still use some of my uh, artistic ability. I, I do artwork and, um, you know, I paint for people on the side. It's a good business, you know. I just, as much as I, I give in to normal, everyday, usual grown-up life compared to being on tour, I still do things where I, I vent my artistic abilities and I do, you know, make some sort of a living off of it. Sammy still uses his musical talents. He's teaching his son Al much of what he knows. Well, my kid, he's uh, one years old, and uh, he's very fond of music. You know, I mean, he's still growing. He's still a little child. You know, but we do put on music for him, and uh, hopefully, I do hope that he gets into playing music and playing guitar. And if he ever starts a band, I could hopefully help him out and teach him the right and the wrong ways of doing things, and you know, basically learning from my mistakes. Sammy says he still has the itch to hit the road again, but for now, he is happy supporting his family and hopes his child follows in his footsteps. Here is a song by Sammy's band called Mr. Cylinder. His band at that time was called The Big Wheel. From New York, I am Robert Sicasio.